Okay, well, uh, welcome to our website and uh, thank you for viewing this video. In this video, I would like to give you a brief induction about the differences between the back pressure valve, which is called BPV, and the two-way check valve, which is called TWCV. Uh, most of the people in the oil industry and drink industry, they know it very well, but just, just for the uh, uh, review again and just for just remind you, or for the new uh, educated people who enjoy the oil and drink industry, it's very important to know the difference between these two valves. Uh, of course, you know that whenever that we want to secure the well, Piro lay down the expansory, or Piro we nipple up the expansory. We have to put the uh, two-way check valve or BPD inside the well. Uh, of course. You know that we have first to kill the well, secure the well, and pumping and uh, kill the well by the fluid, which is the density be higher than the formation uh, pressure. And we mean finally give you the uh, hydrostatic pressure higher than the formation pressure. And after you secure the well and be sure that the well is killed and there is no uh, gas or oil coming from the well for half an hour or maximum one hour. Then you are proceed to install the uh, BPV inside the tubing hanger. It's very important to you know the size of the tubing hanger, the size of the profile of the tubing hanger. So now we have a, a two, four and a half, uh, one BPV and other one is two-way check valve. Uh, to you can very easily uh, find out and realize what's the difference between these two valves. The back pressure valve is is this one. So this is called back pressure valve, which is 15,000 PSI and four and a half uh, inch size. So we have a puppet here in the BPV. So you can see this spring. Whenever that we have a, like such a this spring, this one is called a BPV or back pressure valve. It means from one side you can pumping, but from the well, the fluid cannot come into the surface. So whenever you kill the well, you can install this one, the tubing hanger. And in this case, in the event of we have a pressure below the BPV, Piro ret retrieve that, you have to pump it through the string, through uh, expansory, to push the oil or gas below that down and push it to the formation. Then you can retrieve this one easily. So the BPV or back pressure valve is be like a one way valve. One side you can pump in, but the other side from the well, no any fluid uh, can come to surface or reach the surface. So uh, this is the BPV. The other one is this two-way check valve. This is the profile of the uh, two-way check valve. So you can see the differences between uh, BPV and uh, two-way check valve. The two-way check valve, uh, you cannot pump in from the top and there is no uh, return from the bottom. So uh, in this case, you will secure the well. Why we use the two-way check valve? Whenever that we want to use to test, pressure test the full body of the x mass 3, we have to use the two-way check valve to can apply pressure and uh, the pressure will be hold here. Then it will not be released to the well. It will be hold here. And then in this case, you can do pressure test on the body of the x mass 3. But the risk of, or we can do sometimes pressure test on the BOP as well. When we install the BOP at the beginning of the well, after you kill the well, I mean, and the work order pressure. So you need to install the two-way check valve in the tubing hanger profile to secure the well. And then you can apply pressure on that to uh, pressure test the blind run on the BOP. You need to install this one too, because in the when you want to test the blind run, you have to retrieve and lay down the um, landing joint and do a pressure test against the two-way check valve and the blind jump. The, because there is, uh, there is only this when you use the two-way check valve is because you cannot pumping through this one to the well. So uh, in the event of uh, we have a gas or oil trap below the two-way check valve, there is no way to kill the well. It will be a little bit risky. So that's why whenever that you use the uh, two-way check valve, you should use it at the minimum time. So organize and arrange all the handling tools and all the requirement equipment and uh, all the people should be available. For example, if you want to do a pressure test, do it in the minimum time and be sure that before, uh, before uh, do the pressure test for the blind ram or the 
for example, a full body test of the x mastery, be sure that the well already killed. In the event of you face with any leakages during the pressure test of the blind dam, uh, and uh, we need to work on the leakages and fix the leakages. So in this case, uh, most of probably the two-way check valve uh, should be stay inside the tubing hanger for a long time. So recommended when it should be stay for the more than two hours, one or two hours, it's recommended to retrieve that uh, pump again and kill the well. Then again, install back the two-way check valve to do the job safely. Otherwise, when we have a trap, uh, gas trap below the two-way check valve, we a little bit difficult to retrieve that and it will be very risky and sometimes even can push this two way check valve and shoot into the surface and make an accident and this is this puppet here is retrieve and running tools for the uh, back pressure valve and two way check valve so uh, this is the back pressure valve and uh, even the uh, two way check valve are left trained so it means whenever that we kind of now the bar which is uh, the T bar for the retrieve tools and running tools is not in stock. Just is, this is a uh, this is a very simple bar which is connected to this one and uh, the, uh, the length it depends on to the position. Maybe it be you want to install from rig floor, so it depends on the rig floor the height. By the way, that's not very uh, big issue. Just the most important thing here. So this is a right trade. The running tool is right trade, but the trade on the on the BPV is a left trade. So whenever that you connect this one, so I will connect it here. You connect the running tool. So once we connect here and reach to the this step, then you can push push this puppet down, push the puppet down. This is for two reason. One. Uh, you can you can first before you ret uh, retrieve the back pressure valve you push the, push the puppet down to be sure there is no gas because this see when you pushing this puppet down this it will go down then in the event of we have a gas and the oil is can actually uh, release it from here and uh, in this case the well is already secure just by just by uh, push back the puppet you can secure the well and in this case maybe needed to pumping or kill the well first and then retrieve the uh, BPV another thing when you actually uh, connect it like this so then uh, you can just push down be sure there is no gas and oil then you can start to retrieve just to continue to, uh, to continue to make up more then you can retrieve the two-way the BPV or two-way check valve because when you tie it on the right hand is mean because of the BPV is left left thread it will be disconnected then you can retract it to the surface very easily so that's why first once again I show you it's very important this is the retrieve and running tool just we connect it very easily first on the right side so in the right side whenever that you continue just push the puppet down to be sure there is no gas and oil trap it and then continue push the puppet down and continue to turn to the right side as much as you uh, just connecting to the right side the when the puppet here it will be this this actually see this pin when this pin is set in this groove so then this running tool will not be connected more only push the back pressure valve to disconnect because the back pressure valve is a left trade then on the right side it will be disconnected then you can retrieve the BPV to the surface or two-way check valve to the surface very easily so uh, the most important thing again just reminding you don't keep the two-way check valve for the long time inside the tubing hanger and be sure the profile and the size of the tubing hanger and then it's to use the uh, BPV or two-way check valve in a place uh, one very important point in the event of there is no BPV or no profile for a two-way check valve this is for the very old well but not recommended you should contact with your management or your superintendent to be there uh, for example for the old well which is about 70 or 80 years ago there is no profile then you can kill the well, be sure the well is ready and killed already. Uh, just make a four bolts and uh, uh, everything should be ready, the people should be ready. Pick up the, uh, the adapter flange or the X-Mastery directly and you can put 
the gray valve there with a crossover for the I need the crossover between between the thread on the tubing hanger which is used for the landing joint and you, then you can put the a gray valve or safety valve on that it's better to use the gray valve the gray valve is same as the BPV it be one way but this is not recommended this is it should be a company with the top management thank you for viewing this video in the upcoming video hope to see you again and we will share again a new actual experience and new information about the drilling industry thank you very much